Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we understood how we can apply a background image to the web page. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss paragraph tag, how we can create paragraphs. I am going to double click on the first page.html, Firefox will get open. I right click on the first page.html, open with the notepad. Here I have one wordpad file, I right click open with the wordpad. I have some content. You can see that I have three paragraphs, one related to physics, one related to chemistry, one related to biology. So I copy this physics paragraph, right click, copy and paste it in notepad. Here I am going to paste. File, save, go to browser, refresh. Check this out. The paragraph is displayed in the web page. I go back to wordpad. I copy the information related to the chemistry. Right click, copy that and paste it in notepad. I give an enter. Okay. And I paste it. File, save. If I refresh, you people might be thinking that this chemistry paragraph is going to be displayed down here. No. It is not going to be displayed there. If I refresh, observe what happens. If I refresh, can you see that the chemistry paragraph is just in front of the physics paragraph. It is not moved to the next line. Why? We have learned already that how HTML interprets the white spaces. HTML ignores all white spaces and enter keys that you have pressed. It is going to collapse all the white space to a single white space. Do you remember that? So it collapses all the white spaces to single white space and the final result that you are going to see is something like this. If I say file, save and refresh, both are same. Not much change. You can see that. So this is how the white spaces are interpreted by the browsers. So chemistry paragraph is not displayed in the next line. No problem. We will sort out this, this problem. Let me copy one more paragraph. I have one more paragraph with respect to biology. I'm going to copy that from there and paste it here. I hit enter and paste. So what do you think whether the biology paragraph is displayed down here or it is displayed in front of the previous paragraph? Yes, you have assumed correct. It is going to be displayed in front of the previous paragraph. The reason is all white spaces are collapsed to a single white space. So we are going to find something like this. The final result is going to be something like this. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that biology a paragraph is displayed in front of the previous paragraph. We need to take a help of paragraph tag that is p tag which is available in the HTML to create three different paragraphs properly. p tag is a block level tag as well as p tag is a paired tag. As it is a paired tag there will be opening tag and a closing tag. Just before this p character I am going to write opening p tag. Okay. Then after this system text that we have, I am going to say closing paragraph tag. What we told from here to here, it is one paragraph. Okay. Let me arrange it properly. So from here to here, I told that to the system that this is one paragraph. As paragraph tag is a block level tag, it takes entire width of the browser window. And whatever the content after this paragraph tag is moved to the next line. So the chemistry paragraph and the biology paragraph are moved down. Let's see that file, save, go to browser, refresh, check this out. Now the paragraph related to physics is in a proper place and the chemistry and the biology paragraph moved to the next line. Similarly, I want to tell to the system that from here to here, it is related to the chemistry. So I need to create a paragraph for it. So what I have to do? I have to use a paragraph tag. I can put it on the next line here. No problem in that. And I can write here opening paragraph tag P tag. Okay. And here I am going to write a closing paragraph tag. And we should remember that whatever the information after this paragraph is going to be moved to the next line. So this biology 
uh, information is moved to the next line. File, save, go to browser, refresh. Check this out. Biology paragraph is now separated from the chemistry paragraph. I can make this one also as a one separate paragraph. So I am going to say here P, opening P tag. And then here I am going to say closing P tag. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that I have created three different paragraphs. One for physics, one for chemistry and one for biology. This is how you can use the paragraph tag in HTML to create paragraphs. You should remember that paragraph tag adds little bit space after the paragraph. You can see that there is a space between the physics paragraph and the chemistry paragraph, right? And there is a space between chemistry paragraph and the biology paragraph. So automatically the P tag adds a space below the paragraph. Okay, you can think like one small extra space. That looks good, very good. Now we are going to understand an attribute related to the paragraph tag. So there is an attribute called as align that we have already seen with respect to the heading tag. Here also we have align attribute. So I give a space, I write here align, A-L-I-G-N equal to double quotations. Here I can give values. By default align attribute value is left, L-E-F-T, left. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that no change. If I want, I can align the paragraph to the center. If I say C-E-N-T-E-R center, file, save and refresh, you can see that the physics paragraph is aligned in the center of the web page. Similarly, we have an option to align towards right, R-I-G-H-T right, file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that the content of the physics paragraph is aligned to the right of the browser window. We can apply one more value to the align attribute that is justify, justify, file, save, go to browser, refresh, check that out. What happened here by applying the justify means it has aligned the left hand side of the paragraph and the right hand side of the paragraph in an equal way. You can see that if I remove this align attribute, okay, just save file, save and refresh, you can see that there is a zigzagness uh, at the end of uh, these lines. If you want to align both sides of the paragraph properly, then you have to use align justify. Align justify justifies both the sides of the paragraph. So file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that now it looks proper. Similarly, same align justify I can use to this paragraph also, file, save, go to browser, refresh, you can see that alignment is happened properly. I can use the align attribute with the biology paragraph also, file, save, go to browser, refresh. So all are aligned properly. Now it looks good, it looks nice, right? If I want, I can increase the font size by using the font tag. Here I'm going to say font, I can say size equals to maybe 5. And all the paragraphs I'm going to put inside the font tag. So here outside I'm going to say closing font tag. File, save and come to browser and refresh. Check that out. All paragraphs are increased in font size. Hope you guys have understood how you can use the paragraph tag, how you can use the align attribute. What is the meaning of justify value for the align attribute? For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information on HTML. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. For more benefits, please subscribe, like, comment and share.